This global gathering of mayors is touring the sites of Johannesburg's climate change initiatives. The mayor wants all of the city's buses to be fueled by biogas. The delegates say mayors and local government are key to combating climate change because more than half of the world's population lives in cities. We've been able to reduce since 2008 the consumption of electricity per capita by 20% and in real terms in the past two years by 4%. It's the first time the summit's been held in Africa. The main report, Climate Action in Mega Cities, shows that in the last two years, the cities have doubled their efforts to combat climate change. Africa is particularly vulnerable to climate change because of its extreme weather. Widespread poverty also means many governments struggle to adapt to the effects of changing weather patterns and find it hard to prioritise combating climate change over the immediate needs of making sure people have enough to eat. Johannesburg is the business and trade hub of South Africa, but the continent's powerhouse economy is also one of the biggest polluters. 90% of its energy comes from coal. In Johannesburg, thousands of homes have been fitted with water cylinders that are heated by solar power. It's halved this family's electricity bill, but there are problems. Because with the, the solar system, it's not perfect. It's not how you want it to be. Because when it's hot, it's also hot. When it's cold, it's cold. So you don't get what you want at that particular time. So it's not how we thought it would be. By sharing their experiences of what works and what doesn't, the mayors are hoping to find better solutions. But it may always be difficult to find a balance between what makes economic and environmental sense. Tanya Page, Al Jazeera, Johannesburg.